This is Careers in New Media with Douglas E. Welch. For more information, visit the website, douglasewelch.com. There you'll find links to Careers in New Media as well as everything else that I do, including career opportunities, technology IQ, a gardener's notebook, and more. Again, douglasewelch.com. Today's show is a quick look, a first impression, if you will, of the new OSIN Audio audio recorder and editor. I came across Osan Audio in my online reading that I do each week, and it seemed very interesting and possibly something for the toolkit of various podcasters, especially those who might be just getting started. The great thing about Osan Audio is it's free, and it's also available for Mac OS X, Windows, and Linux computers. So you could use this across all the different systems in your office or in your home office if you wished. Now, the great thing about Austin Audio is it's fairly small. It runs very quickly. It doesn't take a lot of power to run. And it also does many of its operations, such as saves and processing of effects in the background so you can continue working on other items. So here's the Austin Audio interface, kind of a standard looking audio interface. And if we want to record something, we simply click the record button here in the upper left hand corner. It asks us what sample rate and other settings we might like there, including mono and stereo and so on. I'm going to stick with the defaults of 44 stereo and 16. This is an example of recording a audio clip with OSEN Audio. Now, if you had some ums and some ahs in here, you could also um take them ah uh, out, and I'll show you how to do that as we start editing this file. Click record again. The recording stops. Now at the top of the bar here, you see a kind of a zoomed out view of your waveform and which portion that you're looking at in the larger view below. We can actually zoom in and zoom out on that. If I hold down the shift key, I can actually zoom out to the point where I'm seeing the entire recording I made. Now one of the first things you often have to do with an audio podcast is trim the head and the tail, trim the silence at the beginning and the end of the file. So we're going to do that. We're going to come here at the beginning. We're just going to use our mouse. We're going to select this silence here that you can see in the waveform. And we're going to hit the delete key on the keyboard, or we can also say cut here from the edit menu. And there it goes. And if we play that file back now, this is an example of recording a audio clip with OSEN Audio. And you see that it basically did a nice recording. Now, one of the things you can do with OSEN Audio is it actually supports a large number of effects and ways of manipulating your audio. One of the most common ones that we use in the podcasting world is normalize. It just brings the level of the audio up to a normal level where the highs and the lows are as balanced out as they can possibly be. Now, remember, when you're audio recording, garbage in, garbage out. There's not a lot that you can do with the audio if it's bad, but this just helps to improve the overall quality of the audio. So we're going to select normalize. We've selected the entire waveform using command a for select all and now the audio is normalized and you'll hear this is an example of recording a audio clip with at the overall volume out and I'll show you how it is now more balanced and you can also see that happening in the waveform now as you may have noticed when I was recording I purposely put some ums and ahs in here to show you how we might edit those out let's find that portion of the audio take them uh so there's an uh right there we can we can see it in the waveform and we can hear it so I can simply select that uh and again hit the delete key and now take them out and I'll, oh, there you go. You can see I take that one word right um, out there and we can see here, here's the um I purposely put in there. So um, take, and there's the um right there. So we can, again, we can select that um and delete that out as well. Now say I want to delete the entire last portion of this audio, which is actually kind of the unnecessary part I recorded just for editing purposes. Now, if you had some ums and some, so I can select that entire section and again, use a delete key. This is an example of recording a audio clip with OSEN Audio. And we can actually trim off some of this silence at the end of the document too. So there you go. That's just some basic editing you can do. Now, one of the things you need to know about OSEN Audio is it is not a multi-track recorder and player, which means I can only have one waveform, one audio file open at a time. So if you were going to be using this to try and mix in music or other effects, you could not do that easily. It's not designed for that. It's designed for more pre-production work. Or if you're in a situation where you're simply recording directly to the computer and you just want to capture, say, an interview or something like that. Now, if I wanted to record some more audio into the same file, I could simply move my cursor to wherever I wish to start recording. Let's put it here at the end of the file and say, this is the second piece of audio recorded into the same audio file. Again, hit stop. This is the second piece of audio recorded. And I can do the same thing. I can select that audio. I can say normalize. 
of audio recorded into the same audio file. Okay, there we go. And again, we can use our zoom out magnifying glass up here with the shift key to zoom out and see the whole file. And I can actually even take the silence between and delete that out as well. So this is the second piece of audio recorded into the same audio file. So you can see you could build up individual pieces of audio in this same audio file. Now, like any Mac or Windows program, you can have multiple audio files open at the same time. And you can open them either from your computer directly or in a somewhat interesting feature, you can actually open a URL directly from a website. I'm going to do that just to show you. You can say open URL. I have a URL here on my clipboard for one of my Career Opportunities podcasts. We're going to click open. It's going to reach out to the internet and actually download that file to our computer and then present it to us for editing once it's here. And here we go. From the Career Opportunities Archives. Not sure exactly how I would use that feature, but it is an interesting one to see in there. Now, if I wanted to go back to my original file, I simply click on the name of the file, double click on the name of the file here, it'll jump back to that original audio file. This is an example of recording a audio clip with OSEN Audio. And this I can continue working on that file as I wish. Of course, once you're done editing your file, you want to save it back out. So you can simply click File, Save. If you sick, just click Save. It's going to save it in a WAV file format, WAV PCM Linear. Uh, if you're on a Windows machine, that may be fine for you. If you wish, though, you'll find that there are a host of other formats that you can save your audio file in, including, of course, MP3 and, in the Mac world, Audio Interchange File Format, AIFF. I, I would say if you're going to be using these files in GarageBand to do a mix down later or in Logic, you'd probably want to save them in the AIFF format. These are uncompressed files. They are much larger, but they won't suffer any compression artifacts as you mix down the audio in a secondary program. I can simply give it a file name, select where I want to save it, say save, and we're done. Now, if I wanted to save this file as MP3, I could simply say save as. Select MP3 from the list of formats, and away it goes, and it's saved that quickly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this first impression of OSEN Audio, Audio Recorder and Editor. You can find out more information on their website, osenaudio.com.br. Again, that's osenaudio.com.br, as you see at the top of the browser page. Thanks for listening and watching to this episode of Careers in New Media. I'm Douglas E. Welch. For more information, you can always visit the website douglasewelch.com.